In this video, I'm going to show you five settings that you should change on Gmail to enhance your experience using it. So first, I'll quickly open Gmail and now let's get started. You'll have to click on settings, which is on the top right. So it's the settings icon over here. Go to see all settings. And from here, we have access to all settings. So the first setting is about the number of emails that show on each page. So as you can see, next to maximum page size, the default number is 50. But now if I just click on this, I can increase it to 100. So now instead of going to a new page to see more emails, you can just scroll down and see up to 100 emails on each page. So this is one setting which I find extremely convenient to use. After this, the next setting is the option below it, which is undo send. And this is my favorite setting out of the five that I'll show you because this can really help you when you make a mistake in an email and send it. So here, as you can see, the cancellation period is 10 seconds, which is the default time. But now if you just click on this button over here, you can increase this to up to 30 seconds. So now I'll show you how it works. And one thing you'll have to remember that after changing any setting, you'll have to scroll down and then just click on save changes. Now I'll show you undo send in action. So I'll just compose an email. Here, as you can see, I've made a mistake. And if I send it, you can see the option to undo the message is still here. So it'll remain here for 30 seconds and then it'll go. After this, the next setting is offline mail. So I've made a complete video on this, but I'll quickly show you what exactly it is. So by enabling offline mail, you can access and send emails even if you don't have connection. So I'll just show you how it works. So over here, you'll find an option called offline. It's over here on the right. Just click on that. After that, you'll have to click on enable offline mail. Then under sync settings, you can decide how many days worth of emails you'll want to store. So currently it's 30 days, but you have options like 7, 30 and 90. Then you can decide if you want attachments to be there as well. And then you'll have to select one of these options to keep your offline data on your computer or remove it. So I'll just select keep offline data and now click on save changes. So now it's going to store seven days worth of emails on my laptop. So even if I don't have connection, I can just go to Gmail and access them. So for the fourth setting, we'll go back to general and now you'll have to scroll down a bit. And this is the setting smart compose and smart compose personalization. So both are more or less the same and you should make sure that both of them are on because they really save time whilst composing an email. The first option that smart compose that'll provide predictive text when you're composing an email. And the second option that's personalization will personalize the predictive text based on your writing style. So I greatly recommend keeping both of these on. So I'll quickly save the setting and show you exactly how it works. So first I'll just go to compose. And now if I just start typing, hello, how? So as you can see, it's giving me the option saying, how are you with a question mark. And if I want to accept it, I can just click on tab. And as you can see, it's come here. So the same way when you're writing long emails, this will give predictive text, which will save your time. And now the last and final setting is to remove unwanted tabs on your home screen. So for this, you'll have to go to inbox and here under categories, you should select whichever ones you want. So right now I'll quickly show you how it looks. As you can see, I currently have primary, social and promotions, but I can add or remove categories by changing the setting. So I'll go back and here I can just select the ones that I want and remove the rest. So personally, I like keeping updates on because then my primary tab is really clean, but you can remove or add all the categories from here. So now I'll just show you how it looks. I'll save it. So as you can see, my primary has cleared up. And if I go to updates, that's filled with all of these random emails. So these are the five settings. And if you want a second part to this video, let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.